There's quite a bit of research we've done uh, recently in, uh, in trends in ASEAN and uh, through the Center for Consumer Insights we've covered all uh, 10 key ASEAN markets and we find uh, well three major uh, macro trends that are emerging. One is what I call the age of the affluent which means that while over the years uh, the middle class works growing rapidly, uh, lately we've seen the affluent class growing faster than the middle class or faster than the emerging middle class. And that is why the affluent consumer has become a very important target group uh, for people to want to monitor and for, uh, for companies uh, to start to target. So that's one trend. Um, the other trend is that there's a continued dispersion of the middle class away from key cities. So we find that tier two, tier three cities of Indonesia beyond Jakarta, uh, tier two, tier three zones of um, Vietnam beyond Da Nang, Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi are becoming incredibly important for the consumer um, uh, landscape. The third trend we are seeing in ASEAN is massive digitization going on. So we have actually seen, um, I would say ASEAN comes as the third wave of digitization, which followed what we saw in UK in the US many years ago. Um, then we saw the China wave of digitization and now ASEAN. Many countries are reaching a tipping point of e-commerce and there's a unique uh, peer-to-peer model of shopping that is developing in ASEAN. Digital is probably the single most important thing that is happening in ASEAN right now. E-commerce, of course, is booming massively, but this is not just a story of e-commerce, you know. Today we see 25-30% um, growth in e-commerce and we see some markets starting to hit a 10% uh, e-commerce uh, uh, and in certain categories hit as much as 20 to 30 percent e-commerce as we see in consumer electronics. But that's not the biggest part or the only part of the digital influence story in ASEAN. The other pretty critical uh, bit is digital influence itself. So what we see is in several categories, um, especially cosmetics, uh, beauty products, um, experiential products, we see digital influence to become as much as 40 to 50 percent of the shopping behavior. So that means that television advertising is becoming a lot less important as a way to impact consumer decision, while social media based blogging, um, third party sharing of ideas um, and digital uh, sharing on WhatsApp group is becoming quite an important factor. And since companies find it harder to control the messages that are out there on these spaces, it is a more complex ecosystem to manage um, when it comes to your brands.